know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we getting baddies over here. All right, today's video is all about texting. Cause y'all be texting recklessly, just winging it. Just texting her whenever you want, however much you want, whatever amount you want, paragraphs. Essays and it needs to stop. Okay Anytime that you are texting a woman having a conversation whether you just met her whether you've known her for a year whether you've Been married to her for 50 years, right? You need to text her with a purpose There has to be purpose behind what you're saying what you about to say what you're gonna say what you said You know what I mean setting up a date Anytime you text a woman it should really be just to get to see her in person like what can I say to make sure I see her so it should be scheduling an appointment that's what it comes down to but no y'all over here how was your day sweetheart oh my gosh i miss you so much you mean so much to me everything that you've done for me so far in this relationship has really built me to become a better man i plan on spending the rest of my life with you if i'm ever so lucky you said it beta billy beta billy and you need to be alpha andy alpha andy what is alpha andy doing right now he's not even worried about texting her he probably ain't even responding. Yes, I always tell you guys, you need to take your time with the responses. When she texts you, don't be like, texting right back. Cause guess what happens when you do that? She's thinking, oh my God, he's just not busy. He has nothing going for himself in his life. I'm probably the only one he's talking to right now. But you take your time. You ain't rushing. You see it? Oh, okay. She said that. Huh. She feeling it. She want the boy. Ha, <laughs> you know what I'm she do, she wants you. But you you over here getting a little too excited, fam. You over here like, oh my God, she said that? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. No, you put the phone down, you flip it over, slide it away from you, go about your day. Like she didn't even text you. You, you start to forget about it. You might even hear ding again. You're like, oh wait, I forgot to text her back. Then you start to feel even better. You like, oh wait, hey, I could really just play it cool. I wasn't even tripping for real. You was tripping in the beginning, the first five minutes after she texted you, cause you're like, ah, oh, should I text her? What do, I, what do I say? I gotta say the right thing. I think she's into me. If if I don't say anything back soon, she's probably gonna stop feeling me. No, bruh. She's used to dudes being thirsty, texting her back right away, instantaneously. And she could tell that it was a curated text. They trying to formulate some perfect sentence in their mind to text her. But you over here chilling. Not even stressed, not even caring if you text her back. So now she's like, wait, did I say the right thing to him? I might have messed up. I might have said something wrong. I asked the wrong girlfriend what I texted him. I should have asked Emily, not Raquisha. Oh, this is real talk, bro. Women confide in their friends. You're thinking that they're not nervous. You're thinking that they just, you know, doo -doo -doo, they don't care. They're just texting you, whatever. If they don't care about you, probably, they might not even text you at all. But... The majority of the time, if it's a girl that showed some interest in you, she's probably giving you this chance. So she's probably a little nervous on what she should say. Because women, for the most part, they really got game like that. Because they don't need game. Why would they need game when they get all the dudes they want without having to have game? You feel me? So they never had to develop that. So if you're putting her in this position where you're not texting her back, you got her wondering, you got her second guessing what she said, you're now in the power position. Now the ball's in your court. You can take your time. Now she's over here figuring out what she should double text. You know what I'm saying? Now she's figuring out how she should spend her time with you next time. She's thinking ahead, trying to plan the future. Like maybe I should put them on them next time when I see them. Give them a little punani. And then you getting cheeks because you didn't speak. But yeah, man, getting back to just texting directly, get straight to the point. You know, she's over here. Oh my God. Yeah. So this happened today. Or, oh, crazy. We should talk about it tomorrow afternoon after I get off work. Oh, okay. Like she's not gonna be like, oh, you're not interested. No, she's not gonna say that because you showed interest, slight interest. And you're like, okay, I want to hear more about it. But guess what? This is the time we should do it. So now. She either tries to continue the conversation or she just catches the hint and is like, okay, he just wants to see me in person. And also she's gonna appreciate it. 
She gonna appreciate it because you're setting a time, a date, showing initiative that you wanna see her, that's putting in effort, but you're keeping it short. So you're leaving a little mystery at the same time. It's a win-win situation. But y'all wanna be having a full-on, full-blown conversation, leaving no mystery for when you guys actually hang out. Cause then come hangout time, what do you have to talk about? You already talked about everything. So then you're over here, oh, how was your drive over here? Oh yeah, you, you ran into that car crash too? Yeah, it was. It, was, it took forever. I, I was on Waze and it said to go, like you talking about nothing, right? Start talking about the weather and stuff. Like bro, be direct, get straight to the point. Women don't like when you try to beat around the bush, when you trying to, you know, say certain things, when it comes down to it, she knows. She knows what you really want, what you're really doing. And another reason you shouldn't be indirect when texting is you don't want to get put into this friend zone. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get in the friend zone. It's probably the worst place you could be because getting out of it is damn near impossible. It is possible, but damn near, especially depending on how deep of a hole you've dug yourself into the friend zone. So yeah, man. Don't don't be having friendly conversations. I'm not saying don't be nice. Of course, you can communicate back and forth here and there. But overall, try your hardest to just get straight to, hey, let's plan a time to meet up, hang out. And then that's when all the talking takes place because you're not her bestie. If you want to be her bestie, go ahead. Text her all you want all day long, every second of the day. Hey, girl. How you doing? Like, no, that's not you. That's not you. Cause that dude, he ain't clapping the cheek. He ain't. He ain't getting the got got 5,000. He ain't. He getting a pat on the back. If you want to go outside like that, that's cool. That, that could be you. That's easy. You can have a million of those. And the thing is, I feel like a lot of dudes try this way, try this angle because they feel like, oh, that's my way in. It's your way in to be around her if you just that simp and down bad that you just want to be in her orbit. Cool. Be the friend. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If that's what you want, that's what you want. But I feel like that's not what you want. Okay? You want her chasing you. You want to be deep in them guts. You want to be, you know what I mean, on her mind all the time. You want to be the alpha. Alpha Andy. If you want to be Beta Billy, you could be Beta Billy. The choice is yours. But whoever you decide you want to be, be that. Okay, stick to it and actually apply what needs to be applied to achieve all the things that you want out of your little situationship or relationship. All right. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. That's how you text and text direct to women. Get straight to the point. Set the time and date. Say you can't wait. Make her feel like you are looking forward to seeing her again. It makes her feel special and it, it leaves a little mystery keeps her guessing, keeps her on her toes, keeps her wondering what you all about. That's what you want. That That's what makes women more attracted to you. All right. That is it for the video for today. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning with Women. Cop you some Magnetic by Mystic Cologne. Best smelling cologne out there. You know what I mean? For the best price. MagneticByMystic.com. And until next time, focus on you and the women. Well, two. I know some bitties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection.